Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well today. My name is Alexis. I am an independent Scentsy consultant and today we are going to do cold sniff impression of the Harvest Collection for 2024. So as a consultant, you do get early access. So these are not available at the moment, but the Harvest Collection comes out on September 1st with all of the new fall, winter items, the new catalog season. I'm only going to go over the five bars today, but there are some warmers in there that I really, really <laughs> want. There's a lot of great stuff in the Harvest Collection this year. And I'm definitely looking to get my hands on a few kind of spooky Halloween items. So it comes with five bars, like I said, and then you get a little bag. So stinking cute. They do these for a lot of collections. I think they're adorable, but then I get them and I'm like, what do I do with it? <laughs> I have a few from last year. I need to find some way to use it, but little fall leaves. Be like a cute for like a small little lunch or something you could use it for. I'm sure I will find some way to use that bag. So like I said, there are five bars. I have the notes here. I have the bars. I have not yet melted anything. I have smelled them, but they are all brand new. So the first bar is apple spice season. This one says it has notes of apple, pumpkin, and sparkling spices. So kind of a simple scent. It's good. This reminds me a lot of Cider Mill. If you've had Cider Mill before, it's in the fall winter catalog. And essentially to me, it's pumpkin apple from Bath and Body Works, but no spices. This just smells like Cider Mill and then you added some spice to it. It's not strong spice, it's more in the background, kind of toned down. This is a very sweet, fruity bar. Yeah, I think this will be pretty. I'd be curious to really compare it to Cider Mill because I do feel like they're on a very similar wavelength. But this is just one of your classic fall staple scents. It's pretty. I like this one a lot. So that one is apple spice season. For you cider mill lovers out there that you will really like that one. Next up is berry apple shortbread. This is the one I'm kind of hearing the most chatter about. Normally the bakery ones do. So this says it has notes of berry, vanilla, lemon, and clove. I'm disappointed for a scent that has shortbread in the name that there isn't any bakery notes in, you know, in the notes of the bar. I do get a hint of like a shortbread, like vanilla wafer, a very light bakery. Now, this is not a bakery forward bar. This is very fruity to me. You get the lemon, you get the berry, and I do get hints of shortbread or just some sort of light bakery note. It's not strong, but it is present. I don't get any clove at all, so if there's clove there, I'm not, I'm not picking that up. Or maybe the kind of bakery note I'm getting from it is the vanilla that's in the notes. Berry, vanilla, lemon, and clove. Yeah, definitely a berry lemon bar. You get that kind of base of vanilla or a shortbread cracker vanilla wafer type scent, but no spices at all. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy this one. It's not as bakery as I would have hoped it to be, but I think this is one that people will really like. You can melt something like this all year long, but because of the berry and the little bit deeper notes, it feels like it would be a good fall fruit scent also with the lemon, it's kind of a nice clean your house, um, maybe like a cool fall day, bakery clear the air out type scent. I do think a lot of people will, will enjoy that one. So that was berry apple shortbread. Next we have cinnamon woods. This is Bartlett pear, cinnamon bark and sugared woods. This one 
I am not a fan of this one. <laughs> there is something about it. I don't know what a sugared wood is. It almost thinks, makes me think like sugared spruce, but I don't get spruce in here at all. There's something with the way the cinnamon and wood comes together. It kind of, it gives me a little bit of vomit, you guys. Yeah, I have any other consultants, if you've tried this bar, I'd be curious to see what you think. Because something is off with this one to my nose. I'm not picking up any pear. Cinnamon bark, I was hoping it would be like a warm cinnamon. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> what is up with this one, but maybe it's that sugared woods. Maybe there's something in that that it's not quite doing it for me. And I wish that the pear would come out, but I smell no pear. I smell this really off-putting cinnamon and wood type of fragrance. I'm sorry, I should find something good to say about it, but I don't think I can melt this one. Um, I'd be curious to see what you think of it because it's probably just my nose and something is just not not hitting right with me but if you've tried this one let me know what you think I'll, I'll probably warm a cube or two of it maybe in my closed bedroom over here I have a third bedroom that is kind of my junk catch-all room at the moment and so I keep that door closed but I have one warmer in there and that's the perfect space to test things because I could use a small amount and I can close the door and just kind of pop in when I want to. So that room gets pretty good performance. And then if I don't like it, I don't have to smell it in my open space. So I might try it in that. But that one is definitely, definitely not for me. Sparkling Spiced Citrus. This is Sparkling Mandarin Black Currant Raw Sugar Cane and Clove. A lot of clove in, in these bars. Yeah, and this is good. It really does smell like a sparkling citrus, like a, a citrus fizzy type of drink. I do get a little bit of the clove, but it, it's very, very much in the background. But I think that clove helps, helps make it more of a fall fragrance than like a spring summer citrus. Although you could melt this in spring summer as well. It definitely would fit that occasion. But the black currant and the clove, I think, deepen it a little bit to make it more fall appropriate. It's almost on the border of like apple cider. It's not, it's not there because there's no apple, but it's in kind of that same category to me where it's just a fall, a fall drink type of scent. You know, the more I've smelt this one, the more it has grown on me. At first, I was kind of like, oh, it's a basic citrusy, fizzy scent, but now I'm kind of getting those nuances of the black currant and the clove. And it, it is giving me more of a a fall, a fall drink at a Halloween party, that type of vibe. Like you went to a Halloween party and they've got some sort of citrusy cocktail or punch, something like that. And it's fruity, but it's giving fall as well. Yeah, I like this. And I think if you like citrus, you're really going to like this bar. I'm excited to melt it and see. I bet it will be a great performer. Citrus usually is for me. And yeah, I, I do really like that one. Honestly, I like all of them other than the Cinnamon Woods. <laughs> that one is like a I, <laughs> a big pass, but the rest of them I do, I do enjoy. And then lastly, I kind of went out of order, but I saved this one for last because it's my favorite. This is Peaks and Pines. I kind of was expecting this one to be my favorite just because of the nature of this bar. This has notes of dewy greens, lavender, and cedar wood. And look at the color of this bar. It's like this teal blue. It's my favorite color ever. So pretty. Yeah, you definitely get the cedar wood. You get the dewy greens. There's just kind of a, a fresh green note to this. But the cedar wood really stands out to me. I don't know if I'm picking up a ton of lavender per se. It might be there just to kind of sweeten things up a little bit. Yeah, I, I guess I can get a hint of it, but I feel like I'm convincing my brain that there's lavender in this bar. If I didn't know there was lavender here, 
I would not have picked up on it. So if you are adverse to lavender, I don't think that you would be able to tell in this bar. I mean, unless you're able to pick up on the most minute little lavender ever, I think it probably just gives like a freshness, a sweetness to this. But really, I'm getting the greens and the cedar wood. This is so pretty. I really like cedar, so it's a scent I knew that I would enjoy. This reminds me of early fall, you know, before all the leaves have fallen off the trees and you're just starting to get a crisp in the air. The summer temperatures have dropped and you're going for a hike in the woods, but there's still a lot of greenery around you. Um, you haven't had the first frost yet, so you're still getting a lot of the green notes from the summer, but you get that cedar wood note. Yeah, this is really, really pretty and definitely one I'm going to want to get more of. Probably the sparkling spice citrus too, if it, if it performs well, but love this one. Definitely my favorite from the Harvest Collection. So those are the five bars. And like I said, I really do like all of them other than the Cinnamon Woods. I'm going to have to see about that one. I'm not so sure, but I'd be curious to see what you guys think of these bars. Do you have any plans on picking them up? Like I said, they are available on September 1st. And since I am a Scentsy consultant, I also have a Scentsy VIP page on Facebook. It's linked down below. If you want to catch up on new Scentsy stuff that's coming out, or I tried to update on when like the clearance section updates, flash sales, anything like that. Even if you have a consultant and you just want to chat Scentsy, I would love to have you on that Facebook page and can see what is up and coming for Scentsy. With that, I really hope that you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.